welcome to the economic class students today we will discuss about the question and answer questions which are frequently asked from the poverty chapter that we have discussed in the previous classes firstly we will discuss about the one one mark questions which are used to ask from this chapter first question is that the about poverty line who introduced the poverty line concept in india if this comes question comes who introduced who was the first man to introduce the poverty line concept in india it is the dada bhai naroji dada bhai naroji was the first person in india to introduce the concept of poverty line line in india for this he he used a method to measure the poverty line in india that method is known as jail cost of living method so who introduced the poverty line concept in india for the first time you have to tell dada by naroji then by from which method he used to measure this poverty line the method is known as the jail cost of living method so this is the first question dada by naroji was the first person in india to you who used to who used the who used who used the concept of poverty line and how he by which method he measured the poverty line that he used a method called a jail cost of living method so dada bhai naroji was the person who introduced the jail cost of living method to measure poverty line in india so basically the question will come who introduced who the jail cost of living method then the answer is dada bhai naroji then what second question the, is that what are the two measures of poverty so what are the two measures of poverty one is relative measure another one is absolute measure we have studied what is relative measure and what is absolute measure so what are the two measures of poverty one is relative measure another one is absolute measure then another question that is from this chapter they will ask you is that which organization measures poverty in india which organization collects or which organization collects data related to poverty in india which organization nsso national sample survey organization so nsso is the organization which um, collects data on poverty in india so very very important question which organization collects data on poverty in india so the answer is nsso nsso is the organization which collects data related to poverty in india so the full form of nsso is national sample survey organization national sample survey organization is the organization which collect data related to poverty in india very very important question which organization collects data related to poverty in india the answer is nsso national sample survey organization so another question that is related with to some committee there are some committee which studied the poverty line in india so one is the expert group the expert group was cons constituted in the year 1989 as well as in the 2005 in 1989 the expert group was led by the your tendulkar committee and in 2005 this expert group was uh, led by the rangarajan committee so both the, the expert group is a group which which is you which is formed to study the poverty line in india so expert group was formed in the year 1989 and 2005 in 1989 the expert group was led by the your tendulkar committee then the another committee of expert group formed in the year 2005 it was led by your rangarajan committee so this tendulkar committee and the rangarajan committee is related with poverty line so both this tendulkar committee and 
and, and your Rangarajan committee, the group is known as the expert group. So, expert group was formed in the year 1989 and 2005. In 1989, the expert group was led by your Tendulkar. That committee was known as Tendulkar committee. And in 2005, the expert committee was, expert group were led by a committee known as the Rangarajan committee. So, both this uh, Tendulkar committee and your Rangarajan committee togetherly they constitute they came in a group called expert group so expert group is related to poverty life then there in the past there were another group that was known as the study group which was formed by the planning commission of our India the study group was formed in the year 1962 so the study group and the expert group study group both the study group and expert group were formed to study the poverty line in india the study group came in the year 1962 and the expert group came in the year 1989 and 2005 in 1989 expert group was formed by a committee known as the rangaraj sorry it's a tendulkar committee but in the 2005, the expert group for they uh, led by a committee known as the Rangarajan Committee. So, expert group and the study group, both this group were formed to study the poverty line in India. So, very very important one one mark question they will ask you. Expert group, in which year expert group came? 1989 and also in 2005. And in which year your study group came? That is 1962. Both these groups were came to study the poverty line in India. And one more was there. That is the task force on projection of minimum needs and effective consumption demand. It was formed in the year 1969. So it was formed in the sorry it was formed in the year 1979 task force on projection of minimum needs and effective consumption demand it was introduced so it was formed in the year 1979 so three groups are there one is first one is the study group 1962 study group 1962 task force on projection of your task force on projection of your minimum needs and effective consumption demand the year 1979 the expert group year 1989 and 2005 so tendulkar committee rangarajan committee really is related to which then sometime the question will come this both the tendulkar committee and rangarajan community com committee related to dash then you have to stay poverty line they all this group came to study the poverty line in india states so one one mark question will surely sometime your sometime just like in the match the following type question will come from this study group of your poverty line so one is study group that was formed the formed in the year 1962 then the expert group formed in the year in the year 1989 and 2005 then your task force projection on minimum needs and effective consumption demand formed in the year 1979 so all this were formed to study the poverty line in india so please student remember the dates very very important sometimes the dates dates will also come so all these groups were formed to study the poverty line or poverty in india so basically these are the one one mark question so uh, and one more so which program is introduced by the government of india to uh, improve the nutritional le level of the poor which program there are there were two many programs were there but the two prominent programs if you you have to say one is the pds public distribution system another one is the midday meal program so public distribution system and midday meal program were the two programs which were introduced by the government to improve the nutritional level of the poor so 
the which programs were started by the government to improve the nutritional level of the poor nutritional level and the food requirement food and the nutritional level of the poor then you have to say pds that is public distribution system and midday meal scheme midday meal scheme and the pds are the programs which were the which were undertaken by the government to improve the food and the nutritional level of the poor so these are the various one one mark question that is that are most commonly asked from the poverty chapter so there are another one question that you might ask from the poverty alleviation program that is about the manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act so this act came in which year they will ask it. then you have to tell it is it came in the year 2005 then that how many days of guaranteed employment you have to say it is 100 days how many days 100 days you have to tell then what are the wage employment programs introduced by the government of india so what are the wage employment program mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act then another one is sampurna gramin rozgar yojana these are the wage employment programs introduced by the government then sometime they will ask state one example of self employment programs introduced by the government of india then self employment programs that we have studied prime minister rozgar yojana so which is the self employment generation program prime minister rozgar yojana so all this program comes under the poverty alleviation measure so my dear student these are the various one one mark question they will ask you in the cbse exam one more that calorie on that day we have discussed the calorie consumption so what is the minimum calorie intake of a rural area that is 2400 calories what is the minimum calorie intake for urban area that is 2100 calories so why it is the difference why the calorie intake of urban area is less than poor area then you are rural area sorry then you have to tell in rural area the people are doing more physical work as well as in the urban area the people are doing more mental work so for the rural area, therefore the rural people needs more calorie intake so the calorie intake of rural area is 2400 calories and the calorie intake for the urban area is 2100 calories so please these are the various one one mark question that are that are used to ask in the cbsc exam so and another the uh, some Uh, some essay type question that may you are long type answer question that you that is used to uh, that are that which will come from this chapter is that what are explain the causes of poverty in india and write some suggestions to remove poverty from india so we know what are the causes of poverty in india so one is low level of unemployment low literacy rate high population growth we have studied this so point wise you have to explain this thing so what are the suggestions so you, sometimes the question will get suggest some ways to remove poverty from india so what are the suggestion you will give first of all you have to lower the population growth then improve the educational standard of india then third is that improve the infrastructural facilities in india more and more employment opportunities are to be created so these are the points that you have to give if the question comes what are the ways to improve the poverty so what are the suggestions to reduce the poverty from india first you have to tell reduce the population growth then another one is that improve the infrastructural facilities number 3 is that improving the job opportunities in india so these are the various points you can give so very simple simple points these are you can yeah. so whenever you write the long type answer questions in from this part you please you write point wise if you write point wise you will get more and more uh, marks point wise plus explanation to that point then another long type answer question is generally coming from the poverty alleviation program what are the different poverty alleviation programs introduced by the government of india so we have studied what are the different poverty alleviation manrega sampurna gramin rozgar yojana 
then we have studied about the prime minister rozgar yojana so all these are the poverty alleviation programs so the especially the date of manrega is very very important mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2005 uh, that the 100 days of guaranteed employment to the rural area so poverty alleviation program is very very important generally a long type answer question comes from this part then another uh, thing is that so uh, the important question which will ask from this chapter is what are the causes of poverty in india how what how the suggestions to remove poverty from india then what are the important poverty alleviation programs in india and whether this poverty alleviation program was a successful or was it or it was a failure you have to tell that in some way it was okay but most of the programs were failure because the government had in impl- implemented it properly because of the reason you have to tell they they had a lack of will was there the there were corruption the administration system was poor the resources given to this poverty alleviation programs were very very less so these are the reason why the implementation or why the program was not a successful one and then there comes the midday meal scheme the midday meal scheme the first state to introduce the midday meal program in india is tamil nadu so that question will come which was the first state in india to introduce midday meal scheme in india tamil nadu was the first state to introduce midday meal scheme in india so very very important my dear children that is nsso national sample survey organization is the organization in india which collect data related to poverty in india another one is that mid day meal scheme that was the first state to introduce mid day meal scheme in india is tamil nadu then what are the measures of various measures of poverty relative poverty and absolute poverty then we have studied what is what are what do you understand by the meaning of poor what are the characteristics of poor then we have studied the uh, who are rural example of rural poor and urban poor sometime they will ask you uh, list out the example of urban poor and rural poor so urban poor we know street vendors cobblers beggars but in the rural especially who have to say you have to say the landless agricultural laborers the landless agricultural labor is the example of the rural poor sometime the example of rural poor and urban poor they will come for one one mark characteristics of poor people we know what are the they are generally lean and thin hunger and starvation they live in the mud house mud house their sanitation is not so very clean all these simple simple features we have studied so these are very very important what are the two measures of poverty relative poverty and absolute poverty then about the poverty line what do you mean by poverty line who introduced the concept or who measured the poverty line for the first time in india it is dada bhai naroji by using a method known as jail cost of living method then there are some certain study groups came up so first of all it's the study group itself to study the prog- poverty line that wa- that came up in the year 1962 then another came the ex uh, sorry the task force projection on your uh, this minimum needs and uh, effective consumption demand it came in the year 1979 then there came the expert group in the year 1989 and 2005 so in the expert group the 1989 was led by your tendulkar and in 2005 the expert group was led by the your rangarajan so all these groups were came to study the poverty line in india or the poverty in india so all the one one mark question the study group task force the expert group the year when when they came all these are very very important and the jail cost of living method who introduced this method to study the poverty line it was dada by naroji one one mark very very important it will come and the long answer question we have discussed what are the causes of poverty how you can um what are the suggestions to remove poverty in india what are the various poverty alleviation programs or critically explain the poverty alleviation programs so some way in twisted manner they might ask you and what are the limitations of poverty alleviation programs 
etc so these are the some of the important questions from poverty chapter so students study well take care and thank you for today class